Hello guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. This is Paxi and in this video tutorial we're going to be learning about different kind of hashes and what are salts, what are peppers and uh, this is going to be good because this is actually going to be a sub-series of password hacking, crash, uh, cracking and brute forcing. So actually I was going to make a series, a sub-series of uh, exploitation development but uh, I am super sick and uh, I have been going to the doctor for like past two days so let's get on with hashing because I think it is a little bit easier for me to do this so I'm sorry if you guys were waiting for exploitation development or expert development so we're gonna be doing that later but uh, let's get on with this and uh, also as I promised there will be a series on uh, uh, botnets so don't worry about that everything will be coming let's just give me some time and give me some time to figure stuff out so let's get on with it so before we start with anything and or uh, anything that is on my screen first of all I'd like to tell you these are different kind of hashes that are different that are used by different algorithms and stuff so let's get to the top and let me explain to you what salts and peppers are before we start doing anything so salt is a randomly generated value usually stored with a string in the database designed to make it impossible to use hash table to crack passwords as each password has its own separate salt you know a unique salt they must all be brute forced individually which will take a crap ton of time and uh, uh, as the salt is stored in the database with a password hash a database compromise means losing both so there's that and then we have pepper a pepper is a stay uh, you know what uh, ho okay let me reframe this a uh, pepper is a value stored separately from the database usually hard coded into the, into the application itself and uh, which is intended to be a secret it is used uh, so that uh, uh, a compromise of database would uh, not cause the you know compromise would not compromise the entire applications password table and make it you know brute forceable so with that said guys let me get on with all of this so the first thing that we have over here is a uh, ds unix password so this is how it hashes password okay what i'm going to tell you is how do you guys have to identify that what kind of password hash it is because when you're actually hashing the password with john the ripper you might want to tell it that uh, what kind of hash algorithm this is using and uh, i have already explained this in my previous video so if you guys don't know just check that out so let's get on with the ds unix i won't be explaining all of these these are just crap enough uh what do you say uh, password hashes and i'll be leaving a full what do you say i'll be leaving this file in the video description so you guys can download it off my google drive and uh, let's get on with it so des or data encryption standard used in unix and this is the example of the hash that is generated i have no idea about the hash values because i just got them off of the internet and uh, quite frankly <laughs> i don't plan on brute forcing them so let's just leave it at that it is used in linux and other similar oss and uh, the length of this password hash is 13 characters the first two characters are salt random characters in uh, random characters and uh, this iv is actually the salt and uh, the rest of us is the password uh, actually has uh, then we have domain cached uh, credentials and this is the example so admin okay there are two different types of uh, hashes so when you're actually okay when we hash dumped our password from our exploited windows machine we did hash dump and we got the output of all the hashes the guest uh, the user and the administrator so the difference is that it would type the whole string as administrator with small a and uh, colon followed by the lm hash which is not used so basically there's no point in going through that and uh, followed by a colon and the rest of the password and three colons over here so this is the difference between uh, domain cache, uh, cache passwords and uh, you know different types of windows uh, passwords ntlm uh, two hashes uh, this is uh, obviously used for caching password for windows domain and the length is 16 bytes and uh, the algorithm that is used is md4 and then md4 again then unicode then password so what this does is that uh, it uh, actually takes the whole thing uh, and uh, 
first of all it implies the md4 algorithm then md4 algorithm again then unicode then the actual password which is again uh, added to the unicode and uh, the username of the particular user or the password of the particular user and i know guys i am stuttering a lot because i have you know i can barely keep my eyes open at this point so i really apologize for all that then we have md5 unix and this is the example over here and uh, yep this is it and uh, this is uh, used in linux and other similar os's the length is 34 characters uh, and the hash begins with the dollar sign one dollar sign signature then there goes the salt up to eight random characters and uh, then there goes another dollar sign followed by actual hash so that's that and algorithm uh, actually it is a looping md5 algorithm and it's actually processed 2000 times and uh, if you guys want to know more about that i suggest you google it because i won't be able to explain it as good as some other articles available on the internet and then we have md5 apr it is again uh, 37 characters used in linux and other similar os's uh, the hash begins with the uh, dollar sign apr1 dollar sign signature then there goes the salt up to eight random characters like i said in the above apr and uh, obviously in the above <laughs> unix md5 unix uh, then uh, there goes one more dollar sign character followed by the actual hash the algorithm is again md5 loop 2000 times then we have md5 php bb3 and uh, where is it um, okay I hate it when I lose stuff on my computer itself. Uh, okay, you know, uh, there are all these different kinds of hashes, guys. So I actually suggest that you guys go through all of them uh, through the internet. And trust me, I don't remember most of them. I have actually got notes on my other monitor and I actually have to read them. Most of these uh, are actually uh, fairly normal that we use. And uh, these aren't, you know, uh, after seeing a hash, it's completely fine to Google it. it you don't have to know every uh, kind of hash and how it starts and what kind of characters it has. Obviously, it has its merits knowing all of the different kinds of hashes, but uh, you guys don't really need to know that. That oh, this is uh, the freaking MySQL hash or uh, this is the MD5 hash. So don't worry about that and don't stress yourself with all this overwhelming data. This uh, is actually. Uh, not that big of a deal uh, obviously password hashes are a big of a deal when you're actually cracking them but uh, you don't have to memorize each and every one of them and uh, don't worry about that i would just recommend knowing php hashes uh mysql hashes which like i've told you guys begins with asterisk and uh, don't stress yourself a lot on other you know details so don't worry about that and in the next video tutorial guys i'm going to show you how to actually crack these hashes not these particular hashes but the hashes uh, that uh, i might actually order from my friend which would be his passwords and we're going to be brute forcing it with our word list or uh, other ways uh, that are available and we're going to be using rainbow tables or or R crack as it goes in the terminal so that's it for today's video guys i hope you like this video and if you did hit that like button if you want to see more of us <laughs> okay that was filmora where i edit my stuff so if you want to see more of us uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to discuss anything or have a question leave them in the comments down below we actually have our twitter up and running now and uh, we actually have our facebook as well but uh, i am not very active on facebook so it'd be a better if you guys just followed me on twitter at the rate real Pugsy. and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial Pugsy signing up see ya